which I see now really helps with the flowiness. Yep, yep, yep. It did help with the flowiness, and then that happened. RC with Adam is brought to you in part by these super awesome people. Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam, and you know that I hate wasting your time on this channel, so let me just give you the bottom line up front. What you're looking at right here is an upgraded version of my trusty Budget Basher DIY 5-inch quadcopter, and I have a whole build series on that. And I've been pretty much bashing this thing around for the past two years, but I've decided it's finally time for an upgrade. So what I've done is I've upgraded the motors to Zing E, uh, 2306 2450 kV motors. They seem to be working very well, and it's, they seem to be a nice motor at the price point, which is around $13, I think. And I've also upgraded the camera to a Runcam Phoenix 2 Joshua Bardwell edition. Uh, that just means that you can uh, change the camera settings via stick commands by attaching a wire to the flight controller. And that's a really big deal because that was one of the worst things about the previous camera was it just the quality was bad. So this this is a much bit much better upgrade, better sensor, and I just like the the way it looks much more. To also help improve the video, I have gotten a iFlight Sigma antenna, which is much smaller and lighter than the previous antenna that I had. Also, I mounted it on the front of the quadcopter, which is um, kind of questionable because it's potentially more likely to be damaged that way, but I did that because I was running into an issue where I would fly out a certain distance and then when my video signal started to get bad, I would turn around as you normally would. But the problem is with the antenna being on the back of the quadcopter, when I'm turning around, the, the signal is actually getting worse. So the signal would get worse as I am pointing back towards myself and so that's not a good situation to be in. So mounting the antenna on the front of the quadcopter seems to fix that. And so far it has been working quite well. I also changed the location of the XT60 connector so that it would be coming out the back of the quad instead of on the side of the quadcopter. I felt like that would be a little bit better to keep it clear of the propellers and work better for mounting different types of batteries. Finally, I changed the location of the receiver as well. So I put it on the back left arm of the quadcopter and on the underside and uh, I heat shrinked the antennas and put some zip ties in there to protect the antennas. Uh, overall, I think it's a pretty good spot, but it does leave the receiver more prone to damage because it's kind of sticking out on the arm there. But on the plus side, it the reception seems to be pretty good since it is kind of, you know, out away from the main body of the quadcopter. Okay, that said, here is a nice compilation montage of uh, upgrading this quadcopter, and then we're going to have some fun uh, test flight footage and have a good time and perch on a chimney and crash a whole bunch. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Well, no, just keep watching the thing, and then, and then, I'll, and then I'll, see you. I'll see you on the next one if you don't want to keep watching. Or just, just keep watching. Okay, bye. <laughs>
residue, which I really don't like. And we'll take off all of these. Uh, That was not part of the plan. I literally had no plan there. I'm just like, oh, I wanted this to look cool. And then I was like, oh my gosh, no, I should probably have a plan. <laughs> it's not a good idea to just like, be like, oh, I'm just gonna fly here and, and have, have never flown there before. Not a great plan, friends. It's funny how used, I'm so used to flying really low, like at eye level basically, but like that doesn't make sense. Like I don't need to do that. Like I can just fly wherever, you know, up here. I can fly all the way up here. Like, how cool is that? It's, it's difficult to like come down from being up high. Like, it's a, it's a tricky uh, sort of thing. Let's see if I can perch on this, on this, this uh, chimney. Can I perch on the chimney? I'll tell you what, let's switch it into regular acro mode. Can I perch on the chimney? But I want to come at it from this direction. Never perched on a chimney before. Come on now. Ha <laughs> ha! I was a little higher up than I thought. Oh, I hope that metal doesn't get in the way, because that could be bad. Actually, pretty bad signal now. Seems like yesterday it was way better, but uh, weird, very weird. Oh, there's something crawling on my throat. Ah, oh, shoot. I don't like that. Okay. I'll have to blow it off of me. Uh oh. Ah, leave. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh no. Oh 
shoot, it's stuck in there. Or it was, or something. Okay, things just, I think I just got so used to flying with the i6X for a little while. Things feel weird now. It's just, a, it's just different, you know, you add motors, you add some different motors and things feel different. Oh, these controls feel so uncoordinated. Like, like, there's just, oh, oh hit that. Now we are in the canopy, boys. We are in the canopy. It's interesting, actually, once you get into the canopy, there are really actually are not as many branches. Like, there's quite a bit of open space up in the canopy. Oh, look, there's that tree. See, a big part of this is... Oh, shoot, my battery's getting really low. A big part of this is just, like, flying around and getting familiar with your surroundings from this unique perspective, which is very interesting. I made some adjustments to my rates, turned up the yaw a little bit, maybe did a couple other things, but that was mostly... That's mostly what I did. So we'll see how it flies, and, uh... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. So far, so good. I'll tell you one thing. I think I just don't, because of how my throttle is, I just don't do punch outs very much. Like I, which I see now really helps with the flowiness. Yep, yep, yep. It did help with the flowiness and then that happened. Hey, just in time too, because it's like raining right now. Alright, it's raining, we gotta go find it. 